Welcome back, cats and kittens. This is gonna be an emotional week. So I wanted to start it off with this beautiful hot spring in Mammoth Lake, California. This is Wild Willies. We had such a great time exploring here before we headed to Tahoe and got some less than great news. So let's get into it. I'm Alex and that's Frankie. Together we live in Lolo, our 2003 Dodge Sprinter. We decided to quit our jobs in New York City and follow our hearts wherever they lead. Right now we're attempting to hit all 71 mountains on the Epic and Icon Pass. Crazy, I know. Wherever our tiny home on wheels roams, one thing is for certain, we're happy to have you along for the ride. Good morning beautiful people, it is another day here in Tahoe. We are headed to Boreal for a ride with Jake. Round number 67, yeah. So right now the COVID virus is really freaking everybody out, rightly so. We are headed to like a an event. Maybe a lot of people won't go because of this COVID thing. So that's, you know, bonus number one. We're gonna wash our hands. We're not yeah. gonna, we've been elbowing people, high fives. Yeah, elbow fives. Yeah, elbow because fives. Sup. Sup. Um, so like keeping contained. Both of us feel perfectly healthy and normal. We're not in an area that's currently having an outbreak. So that's good. Uh, but so this afternoon, we're gonna head to the grocery store and stock up on a couple of supplies. We live in a van, so we don't have that much room for stuff, but we're gonna, you know, grab a couple extra things of stuff that we would normally use. And we'll show you uh, what the stores are like here in Tahoe, yeah. where uh, it hasn't even broke out yet. I'm sure that all like the Lysol and stuff is gone. <laughs> So we're listening to Justin Trudeau give his address to, uh, to Canada about COVID. <laughs> Why did I get so like, emotional? Well, because he said he was going to make sure that Canada stays safe financially by putting out a, a package to help people pay for rent and stuff and childcare and things like that, which is something that's super important to the country, obviously. And like, even I'm something emotional. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I hope that America would take a book, a page from that book and do something like that to help out the American people as well. Yeah. I feel like I'm so patriotic that like whenever Canada does anything nice, it makes me really happy for like that. I don't know, it's just like, <laughs> It just makes me feel all the feels. And like, I feel like that's one of the biggest things that we've been talking about like with other people is that like, it's gonna economically cripple a lot of people. Yeah. So all the money that we saved last year is in cash. Yeah. So it's not being affected by the stock market, which is really Good for us. great for us. Um, but so many people, and like even I have retirement accounts, I have all this stuff. Do I have a pension stuff that will be affected? Yeah, so like the money is, you know, you look at your bank account and you're like, oh, I lost thousands of dollars today. Cool, but the money that we need for right now is cash, so we're not like super worried about that aspect of it. But, and we don't have rent, which is great. You know, like we're not trying to like make our bills, but you worry about people. And if you're a small business and you need to lay somebody off, you need, you need to lay somebody off and these are the choices that we're gonna have to make and then people aren't gonna be able to make their rent. You know, it's just like, it's just sad. Yeah, really. I just wanna make sure we went the, yeah, you're going the right way. One of the best things about van life is that you're kind of disconnected from the news and so you're not like bombarded with it every day, which is nice. But with all this stuff going on, just like your Facebook feed is blowing up with it, all my friends are talking about it in our group chats. You know, this is like a really big thing that everybody's talking about and it's hard to, you, I mean, you kind of like need to be informed because like yeah. we don't want to show up somewhere that's like having a crazy outbreak or whatever. Um, but just watching the news is definitely like an emotional thing. You know, we hope everybody's safe and everybody's healthy and everybody that could take the proper precautions to continue to be healthy, do so. Um, you know, it, it's tough. It's tough. It's a, it's a weird situation. Um, we don't really deal with this stuff too often. And we should be lucky that we don't normally deal with this stuff. Um, hopefully
hopefully that gives everybody a little bit of perspective of like how important each individual person's life is, you know, and, and what it is to help each other. Um, and hopefully we, we get that and we, we help each other throughout this whole crisis. And also yesterday I saw a girl walk out of the public bathroom and not even attempt to pretend to wash her hands. So like I'm watching you and like, Wash your freaking hands. Yeah. It's the, the simplest thing that you can do, so do it. When I signed up for this Ride With Jake Day, I thought I got an email back, and I went looking for it last night, and I couldn't find it. Yeah, so I have my email confirmation, but Frankie doesn't have his, so we're yeah. gonna go check the booth and see if we can get Frankie in. It all it worked, worked out. out. I told you I signed up. I know you did. I don't know did. where the heck that email Your emails are such a disaster. They really are, like, so bad. I feel like it's your fault that it's But missing. it's not, because I even checked the trash, and it wasn't even in the trash. Yeah, but so you, you know I like deleted. 14,000 unread emails, I literally two have email like, accounts. He doesn't know which one he signs up for or anything with. <laughs> and it's just like, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, let's go get ready. Let's get on board. Sounds good. Yeah. Look at me now. Look at you now. I'm riding for free. Yeah. Thank you, Jake, for this special day, for allowing us all to come out here and get on the hill and be able to ride. Yeah. And the cool Such thing is- Such a legacy. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Look everyone, Alex hiked the peak. She's so silly. So you can't really escape COVID on the mountain because we all have cell phones. I mean, obviously we're at a public gathering. I was just on the phone with my sister who's a public health inspector who's rightly so freaking out about the whole thing. My parents are on their way to Morocco right now for a trip that they have planned. Um, and so my sister's freaking out about that. It's just, is shitty. Your parents being a little bit older in age makes them more uh, susceptible, susceptible to sure. the actual virus and whatnot. Uh, I think they'll be fine though. I think they'll be fine too. I mean, you know, you hope and you're always optimistic and you never think that something like that will actually happen to you. It's always something yeah. that happens to other people. Yeah. In some of the van life groups, people are talking about how, you know, because we're so transient and we're moving around, it's kind of a good thing because like we can avoid the, you know, yeah. like, it's not like I have a house in one of these areas and I can't leave. I could just be like, hmm, this area is infected. I'm going to go somewhere Al else. Alex and I could just go park on the side of the road somewhere in the middle of the woods and we don't have to worry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's definitely one of the things I thought about when we were building the van is it'd be a really good, like, escape the zombie apocalypse vehicle. Uh, so that might uh, come in handy. Yeah, yeah. So after getting done at riding at Boreal, we decided to take a pit stop. In South Lake Tahoe! There's a heart shaped rock oh, right yeah. here. And I told it, whoa. We both just, <laughs> whoa. We both just hiked out. Whoa. Woo, it's a little steep, little steep hike. Oh. Look at them go. Yeah. We have to legit climb them. <laughs> Parkour! That was a double tap, you saw that? Look how pretty this is. Alex, you excited? Did you almost fall? That was a little bit I, I almost got you on the fall? Yeah. So you have this beautiful lake in front of you. Beautiful rocks, wonderful trees over there. No snow and then Snowcat Mountains. I think he likes Tahoe. Tahoe's awesome. To avoid COVID-19, come to places like this where yeah. nobody else is around. Yeah, where it's just you two and that's it. You don't have to worry about what everybody's done. Well, now for the tricky part, actually, which is getting back up these rocks. Oh, look, the oh, tire, tire swing. swing. We gotta go to that now. You got it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's good. You look so comfortable. I'm not at all. <laughs> my, my main question is how the fuck do I get off? <laughs> okay. Okay. 
You like having your feet underneath you? Yeah, I can touch the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you picked the wrong way, huh? Nice! Good dismount. Hey, can you catch? It's recording. We decided to take the hard way up. Get okay, your money's worth? Yeah, that was good. Huh? Awesome. My heart's beating right now. <laughs> uh, let's get back up to the truck. We'll see you guys up at the truck. So, amid the whole corona thing, we've decided to come to Costco. Yeah, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're with our buddy Eric. Um, he's pumping gas right now at Costco. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah. Our game plan is to keep our mouths shut, keep our hands away from our faces. Yeah, don't touch everything. Don't touch nothing and, unless you're buying it. And if you're going to touch everything and tempt fate, stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> All right? And then wash your hands when you're done. Please. Yeah, wash your hands when you're Thank done. You. Thank you. <laughs> they also have a whole bucket of wipes and gloves. Nice. Are right, you ready? Come here, buddy. <laughs> That's a hell of a lot of pants. That's literally the size of our fridge. <laughs> you are uh, excited about our buys? I think so. We're definitely going over 100 dollars right now. I feel like we need it though. Do we? Just saying. I probably overdid it with the shopping. Yeah. My problem is that we live in a van still and that $300 worth of groceries is probably a bad idea. Yeah, we didn't think about that. Huh? Yeah, I miffed it real bad. Yeah, I was like, oh, another 60 bucks? Oh, okay, another 150? Okay, another, another 20? Okay. Okay, where are we going to put this? Well, we need all this stuff because the grocery stores were literally bare. Yeah, like, what? I mean, like we got, you know, everything that we need, but like so much stuff was like gone. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we got some stuff. And then it also means that we don't have to go into grocery stores for a, while. for a while. So it's almost like a way of self quarantining, buying all the stuff now so that we don't have to go in and shop later. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we, we got to figure this out. All right, let's get going. I actually got everything put away pretty neatly. Mm, that one's a bit tougher to... Ba, 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 ba. We had this rack already, so now it's just completely full. And then I rearranged under here a little bit too. We've got two extra new propane canisters in the back. I don't think we're gonna get scurvy. We've definitely got enough food to last for at least a few weeks. If not a month. Hopefully as long as humanly possible. As long as I don't eat much. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the problem with having a lot of food is then like you snack more and you like yeah. eat more. So we're gonna have to be good about like just eating regular. Me or me? Frank needs to be good about eating regular. All right, guys, we are back out of the game. We are here at Squaw. Ah, ah. That's the Squaw. Uh, so mountain number 68, we're going to meet up with Eddie. Today we have a powder. Dumping out here. Oh yeah, I'm excited. You excited? I'm gonna stay in the car and work. I don't like when the visibility's bad, so I'm just gonna hang out. Okay, I love And avoid the coronavirus. In yeah, here. you won't get it in here, that's No. Sure. I'm going to also sanitize. Yo, Eddie! What's up, Eddie? Yo, brother! Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, I can't see anything. Woo! Oh, that's good. That was amazing. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Kirkwood Mountain just 
announced that all Vail Resorts, Vail Resorts have made the difficult decision to suspend the operations of all North American Mountain Resorts beginning March 15th. Starting tomorrow. It said read the newsletter. So some of the mountains are going to be closing, which seems like it's happening. Um, this makes the world record attempt a little bit more complicated. Yeah, so technically we already broke the record, we were just trying to set the bar really high. Yeah. So that means Icon Mountains haven't yet, only Epic Mountains have so far. So we're going to have to look at Icon Mountains, Icon Mountains especially in this area, and like we're supposed to be in Seattle in a week or so. Yeah, I'm sure exactly Seattle does. Mountains are probably going to close yeah, too. Uh, everything's so wet and snowy right now too. This huge storm is dumping on Tahoe right now. So tomorrow, the powder would be absolutely epic. Look at this guy digging his car up. I'm literally like a dog. Baby. <laughs> We're like very overwhelmed right now. <laughs> yeah. We put out a Instagram story just based upon like what's going on with the coronavirus right now and um, unfortunately for us, it has put in a little fork in our road. He put out a message basically saying that I need a split board. We weren't like asking for anything. No. We were just saying like, this is what we need to do. And yeah. you know, if we're going to finish the mountains that we need to climb them basically. And by we, I mean him, cause I'm yeah. not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> But well, like all these people are now reaching out being like, can we send you money? Can we PayPal you? Can we like help you get the board? Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah, it's really beautiful. <laughs> I was crying before, but I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you too. I'm very, very thankful though to you guys. And like, it's amazing that there's people out there that are willing to help us and just want to help each other. And let's keep that in mind as we go into like this next like big thing that's about to happen with this freaking stupid coronavirus that's going on. You know, just be thoughtful of others and like be mindful of like staying clean and not going out as much and doing these things. We're at least going to a place where most people won't be and uh, all the mountains closed. So there's a really good chance that nobody will be there at all. We're gonna continue our journey, thankfully, because of you guys. And we're gonna finish these mountains, for sure. I'm gonna hike every single one of them oh proudly. <laughs> and I'm gonna say thank you at the top of each one for you, to you guys for what you're doing. It's amazing. So yeah, it's amazing. And I just don't know how else to react. Yeah, I'm just feeling super yeah. grateful. Yeah. <laughs> and like really touched, because I feel like I don't know, it's like nice to see the kindness in people. Oh yeah. And the generosity. And we've gotten nothing but kindness and generosity since we've been on our travels. Except for a couple of really sexist assholes. Yeah, but, um, that's online though. <laughs> but like all the people that we've met, and yeah. all of our friends have been super supportive and you know, I mean obviously we've had a bunch of struggles with the van yeah. and all this stuff and it's just really nice that yeah. people are helping and yeah. just there for us and enjoying the journey and yeah <laughs> like I mean, thanks for amazing. following thank you along. Yeah. you guys don't have to and we appreciate the fact that you guys yeah. watch every single time that we put up a video yeah. it's amazing yeah people are so great <laughs> so, yeah, we're super grateful i can tell you that thank from the bottom so of our much. hearts yeah thank you so much Man, I just got told I have to stop crying now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we love you guys, though. Thank you. Oh, squaw today was really great. <laughs> so the rest of this, the rest of these uh, mountains are going to be even more incredible. So squaw was the last official, official running mountain. Running mountain at this point. For now. For now. Hopefully they go, come back up and they start running, but it could be the last one of the season. Oh my god. Yeah, it could be the last running one of the season. So, let's get it. Yeah, let's be prepared to hike every single mountain out there. Okay. I'll do I'll do 100 if I have to for you guys. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll do 100 if I have to. All right. See you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe this video. I'll see you guys soon. Frankie and I want to thank you guys again so much for your support. We are so grateful for every single one of you who's along for this journey. 
Next week, we are going to be heading to Seattle to bunker down during this COVID craziness. So I hope you guys are well and healthy and happy, and I will see you then.